Hello, I'm Harley Quinn Smith. I am this man's daughter, and I'm here to interview him because he talks so much, and I clearly just haven't heard enough of it. It's my favorite thing in life. Um, this is a dream. <laughs> so, Dad, please tell me, who is your favorite actor you've ever worked with? You. There is no wrong answer. You, you, hands down, you. And I don't just say it because you're my kid and you're standing in front of me and their camera's running. Are you sure? Absolutely. Here, I'll, I'll tell you a quick story. So, oh, of course. <laughs> I got into a bunch of fights with uh, critics a few years ago um, when I was making a movie Cop Out. And it was intentional. I had grown very dependent on positive critical reviews. So, for me, I, I kind of wanted to not do that. I kind of wanted to be the guy that still makes the stuff he wants to make and I figured at that point in my life if I poison the well, I burn down the village and just fight with critics and I'll be free. So while we're making Tusk, I'm still in that combative mindset. Like I can't wait to show them this shit, man. If they shit on this, I knew they were blah blah blah. And then we shoot a scene in Tusk with you. Excuse me. Ah. Uh, how far is Bifrost from here? Bifrost? That's far. Yeah, it's about two hours from here. Yeah, the, the kids here at the convenience store are telling me that it's about two hours away. I hate American guys. With you and Lily Rose, and I remember asking Jen, my wife, your mom, I remember asking mom, do you think, like, Harley could do it? And she's like, oh, that'd be fun, you know? And we didn't even know Johnny Depp was in the movie, and then later on, Johnny wound up in the movie. Last night after you called me, I sleep like the breastfed baby. So you're gonna be in a scene with, with Johnny Depp. Oh my God, it's Mr. Mustache, Colleen. Oh my God, what? And you know, Harley, I only know Johnny Depp through Harley, because Harley and Lily went to school together. And you know, she knows, of course, what Johnny Depp does her whole life and stuff, and who he is, but in her world when she was younger, Johnny Depp was the guy who made the world's best pancakes, because she'd stay over Lily Rose's, and he'd make breakfast, and something I never did. And she'd come home and be like, why can't you make pancakes as good as Johnny Depp? And I'm like, I can't do anything as good as Johnny Depp. Why do you sound like the internet? And so Harley here goes, like, uh, you said, oh, Lily Rose is coming tomorrow, she's gonna watch. I said, if she's coming over, why don't we stick her in the movie too? Like she could stand next to you behind the register and we could split your dialogue. Give him the pad. You give him the pad. Give him the pad. And then we brought you guys on set. Isn't that weird? Okay. And that's where everything changed. That's where you became my favorite performer of all time because you were the difference maker. I let go of all that bitter that I held on to for so long, the me versus them and that chip on the shoulder artist. I remember like that day going home and the first person I saw was not you, but Jennifer. And she was like, how was it? And I was like, I think my daughter saved me today. And she was like, what? And I told her, I was like, I think she may be my salvation. Like, I, that kid made it fun again. Like, I felt like I was 21. Yeah, it was a huge moment for me. Don't do that. But it was, I was like, I think that kid may have made all the difference. Like, I get it now. You made me want to be a better filmmaker more than anyone in this world. Because I was like, oh, I could be useful to her. So yeah, because of that, you're my favorite performer. Got another question, my <laughs> Go ahead, you can cry. I know you want to. You thought you were gonna ask me some harsh <laughs> questions. I came with the heart. You're that important to me. Oh, that was so nice. <laughs> can I have a tissue? <laughs> I don't think it's gonna get better than that. Do you wanna keep going or? <laughs> I think that's your piece. I don't wanna tell you your business, but that felt kind of <laughs> Felt kind of real.